Hello, you must be Rick, coming for your work experience, right? Yes, yeah, that's me. Hello, I'm Vanessa and I'll be showing you around the office and answering any questions you may have. Would you like to see the, the compound now? Sure. Blah 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 blah. And this is blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. blah. Can't we talk about what you have to do in your daily work? Sure, if that's what you would rather do. Finally. So, this is my office. Here I try and find better ways to promote and sell our company's goods and services. How do you do this? I take the system we have now, change how it works and putting the new system in different scenarios to see the outcomes. Trying to find a way for our company to gain a larger profit. Can you give an example on where this might be used? Well let's say we were airplane designers trying to make the passengers feel safe and more at home than on the previous model. If we take the previous model and make a lot of changes to it and it works, we won't know what changes made the difference and then would lose profit applying it to all the airplanes. So we should only make one change at a time? But what if later on the people start to not like the improvements you've made? We use Ceteris Paribus, which means everything else stays the same. It would be imposable to think of every possibility that could happen, so we don't. We just try and improve. Can you use Ceteris Paribus in an other circumstance so I can get a better understanding of it? Sure, so let's say you advertised at a phone company and you were trying to promote your new phone. You would want your phone to have eye-catching features so you could get more buyers. You would want to advertise the slim touchscreen smartphone over the chunky button-covered phone, the firm's would try make the best phone and amp. Have people like you advertise it. Why would that make people advertise it? Because it looks good. If it looks good and has great features advertisers would earn more profit from it. What's that got to do with Cedarus Paribus? When they see the advertisement the consumers will go and buy the slim touchscreen phone. And with Cedarus Paribus something like a snowstorm doesn't need to be taken under account. Okay that makes sense, I would want the cool new phone. Let me give you another example. Okay, go for it. No matter what you sell creates some sort of demand. Let's say the demand becomes higher than supply, only demand has changed, nothing else. This is Ceteris Paribus because everything, everything else stayed constant. In reality we would need to take in many other factors, but that would take up too much time and effort, instead we just use Ceteris Paribus so it, easier to document the results and put it into a graph. Okay thank you for your time. I think I learned a lot today. It was nothing. If you have any more questions feel free to come and ask.